Hello again and welcome to Dan White Books, the book review channel where we add insights into the wondrous worlds of literature for both those who do read and those who don't. I'm back and without much of a delay this time, the books are really calling me, my friends. Today's review is the latest science fiction release by the popular author Blake Crouch. Today I'm reviewing Upgrade. Blake Crouch is certainly building a name for himself within the genre of science fiction from notable works like Recursion, which I have read, and Dark Matter, which I hope to read this year. Haven't read it yet, already ordered it. My last foray into Crouch's work yielded some very positive results. It was science fiction packed with emotion and layered with fast-paced action sequences. But does this new work hold up? Upgrade tells the tale of a future where humanity has gone far astray. It is a future laden with genetic science and one where mankind is on the brink of collapse. In many ways this dystopian landscape is forewarning that of the gloomiest outcomes predicted by science in our modern age, although one where great advancements in research have become a hindrance to mankind and not a benefit. The constant playing and alteration of genomes have led to a world that is far worse off and strongly averse to any future research concerning genetics. Central character Logan Ramsey works for an agency known as the GPA, whose goal is to stop the now illegal pursuits of genetic research and enhancement much like their DEA in America would perform raids to stop drug trafficking across the country, the GPA hunt down those who are performing experiments or selling genetic modifications. Make no mistake, this isn't a cyberpunk-esque world where everyone is enhanced to the nines. This world is far more subtle in its implementation of such scientific discovery, with fears that genetic engineering will upset the delicate balance of nature and of the resources we harbour. Protagonists Logan Ramsey lives in the constant shadow of his mother Miriam, a scientific genius who unintentionally played a key role in a famine that via genetic research led to the death of millions worldwide, this leaving the planet in a very desolate place. Humanity appears destined to doom, but the world keeps moving on. On a raid to shut down a genetic engineering laboratory, main character Logan Ramsey is caught in an explosion that is later discovered to have altered his genome through the incitation of a virus discovered to have changed his DNA. After several days of fever, Logan begins to notice changes across his body, most notably in relation to his intelligence and physical strength. Logan's body has essentially been upgraded and now performs at a level far beyond the scope of an ordinary person. He is completely unaware though as to why. I hope that gives you a taste of what this novel is about. This is a spoiler-free review so I won't delve deeper as much as I'd like to, but if you like dystopian science fiction literature, particularly the kind that takes place on our favourite planet, right here on Earth, I'm sure this book will tick many boxes. Blake Crouch adopts a fast-paced style to his writing that is easy to digest and as you flying through pages, and this book makes no exceptions, despite what may seem quite an advanced topic, this book is unlikely to bog you down with overbearing science. Crouch manages to detail science in a manner that keeps the story moving forward without taking you too far into the realm of academia. Genetic engineering is certainly a hot topic with many moral and philosophical implications. If you are looking for a work that explores these topics in great detail and puts forth multiple arguments for and against, particularly from the actions of its characters, this may not be the one for you. Despite this story being a hugely enjoyable tale, I left this work thinking it could have done more to shine light on a topic we all know is silently looming on the horizon, especially when we consider that the book's central character has been upgraded to that of a higher level intelligence. This critique, had it not been apparent, is something that I feel could have propelled this book far beyond the rating I'm soon to give it. This is by no means a bad book, far, far from even being an average one, but in too many ways does it come across as a simple one. Part of this is no doubt down to the pace and style of writing. It is essentially a science fiction thriller set in a dystopian backdrop, 
but it doesn't dare to delve deeper and put forth arguments that are more rigid when tough choices are being made. I was hoping and expecting there would be a large debate between the people involved, but what I got was more action and less words. Blake Crouch does not fail at making this substitution satisfying, but the result does amount to a book that falls short of true greatness. All this aside, this book will have you turning pages and certainly yearning for more. It is a fantastic piece of writing for the purpose it serves. However, it is lacking depth and in some places I felt as if the author had opted for a more simplistic approach to what was a very complex situation. If that's what you're looking for and you don't want to think too deeply throughout, make no mistake, you will love this work. But if you want a deeper understanding of the complex decision making at play, this work will feel slightly off kilter. Topics are raised, but they aren't much discussed. This book does, however, create a very believable world, one that feels almost too believable, and I'm saying that in a very bad way, particularly if we consider our own future. Its characters face a question with no straight answer and express their stark opposing views to one another less through words and more through action. The journey and the battle they face as you exploring the world in gritty yet realistic detail. It is action packed, it features a small yet memorable cast of characters and it was a pleasure to read. What stops me from pushing this book higher up the charts was the glossing over of certain choices. It was in parts, no, you're wrong, I'm going to do this, and that was that. It's hard for me to mention the decision I'm talking about in this spoiler-free review, but if you've read this book you may understand how I was feeling when a choice that affected so many lives was made so quickly and never once changed. Pushing this critique aside, you still have a book here that verges on addiction. Blake Crouch is a talent that can write in a manner that hooks you like a fish, and in spite of my indifference to certain decision making in this book, I would be foolish not to recommend it. So with all things considered, I would rate Upgrade an 87 out of 100. If you'd like to learn more about this book, please see my video description below. And if you'd like to learn more about next week's book, which is, drumroll, The Song of Achilles, um, which I've just started reading. Very popular book, you may have already read it. Um, Please see the video description below for information on that one as well. If you enjoyed this review, please like, comment, please comment. This is a new book. Let's have some discussion. Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm right. I want to hear your views. Comment below. And of course, if I didn't say, I probably did. Please subscribe. Your support means a lot. I will see you here again soon, my friends. And I thank you for spending some time listening to me chat about this latest release by Blake Crouch. Until next time, keep safe. Bye-bye.